welcome again. We are here in Sierra Leone in Congo Village uh, to uh, show you again what your generosity among the churches and mosques in, in Garland have done for people halfway around the world. This well uh, is another one of your 11 wells that was built in 2017. And again, I'm with my, my brother, Pastor Michael Kanu. And I want to introduce you to someone uh, you'll hopefully get to know more, my good friend Edmund, who's our chief health officer here in, uh, here in Sierra Leone. What difference have these wells and the VIP toilets made to people on the ground? With the provision of this water well and the VIP latrine, there is no more death, no more diarrhea outbreak, there is no more um, diarrhea and vomiting as it used to be. These are the real results. I want to add one more thing. 100%, every penny of every dollar that you raise goes to making clean water and toilets available to children like me and women and, and men. eventually 22 so we're, we're halfway there the running for clean water event has been a miracle for these folks who live in this community I pray that we can keep running we need to raise more wells so that child death under five can be eliminated These clean water wells completely eliminate that problem. And in the villages that we have a well and a village toilet, the child mortality rate under five has dropped to almost nothing. Once again, Garland, Texas, we're in, um, outside of Bow, Sierra Leone, we're in a village now called Kamendi. And you can see that to my left, and the village leaders uh, throughout the village of Kamendi using a well that you help pay for. So once again, without you, we wouldn't have these types of benefits for so many people who are now greeting you by song from Sierra Leone to Texas. Love among people and clean water. Keep running. Over the years, I've been amazed at what you've been able to do down here in Garland, Texas. First, beginning with a group of churches uh, representing the Christian faith. And last year, I was absolutely amazed and awed that um, part of this Running for Clean Water event now involves the Muslim community. Uh, and for me, that's an incredible step forward. It's a way of demonstrating that uh, we are all God's children and we can transcend politics and race and even religion to fulfill um, a goal and ambition, a uh, mandate, a covenant with God to, to uplift the poorest of the poor anywhere in the world regardless of our uh, differences. I'm hoping that in 2019 we might add the Jewish community to the Running for Clean Water event, and one day soon have a representative of the Jewish community, the Muslim community, and the Christian community with me standing in Sierra Leone, witnessing what miracles are occurring because of the efforts here. So my hope in 2019 is that the three great religions forged by Abraham, 
can come together for one event. What a remarkable and miracle it would, would be for Garland, Texas to bring together these three great religions for one common purpose, children and women in need. So thank you Garland, Texas, and, and thank you all for participating in this event. Uh, I look forward to many more years, hopefully, of, of this work and a coming together of not only uh, our need to bring water, but also to bring uh, friendship, companionship, um, and a promise for a new future for us all. Thank you.